It is certainly good to be back. Hey folks, this is Z, the creator of Pentaco videos, and I'm finally back. And today's video, I'm going to talk about the sunsetting of the Create React app. This was just came out on Valentine's Day. I would say the Valentine's Day massacre because the React team decided to sunset the legendary Create React app. Now, for those of you who are in the business for over a decade now, you would know that Create React app paved the way for a lot of frameworks. It sort of put everything together in this nice little package. And whenever you need to start a project, you would start the Create React app and build your stuff on there. No need to think about how to set up Webpack, how to set up linting, all of that. It's all there. So it's been a great tool for a lot of engineers, including myself. But over the years, the ecosystem has evolved. React has gotten a lot more complicated with the introduction of React server components and a bunch of new features. So it's not easy to keep this React, create React app to up to date. So folks are encouraged by the React team to move to other tools like Vite, Parcel, or RS Build, uh, including frameworks like Next.js. So whatever you might think about Next.js, that's not the point of this video. This point, the point of this video is I want to go over one of the tools that I've been hearing a lot from a lot of people. That a lot of people recommend this tool. It's called Vite. So I used to pronounce it as Vite, but it's actually called Vite. So Vite is a, I'll say it's a build tool for the web. <laughs> it's a really good explanation here. Uh, I love the landing page here. So. What it does is think of it as a way for you to start your application, to, to get a head start on your application. So if you need to build um, a React app or some sort of starter app, this will be the tool for it. And it actually is extremely fast. This lightning logo fits Vite very, very well. Extremely fast. And it supports not just React, but a bunch of other popular frameworks like Vue, for example. So all of these are supported. And um, I just want to check it out for you today and see what you can do. So if you, let's say we don't have a Create React app anymore, now what do we do? So let's check it out. So for Vite, I sort of did a bit of research, but I think um, I want to explore the tool with you together. So today, let's jump into our trusty repo here. So Pentaco, by the way, it's on GitHub. It's in the description below if you want to clone it, and you'll have all the code from all of my video lessons. So here, I just want to start a new V app. So on the website, there is a get started guide. So I'm just going to follow whatever it's there and see, and let's create a React TypeScript uh, starter template. So first, you got to do this. So I like to run this script. I think this script will give you a good walkthrough of what you want to do. So I want to do the project name and I'm going to say, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. I'm just going to say v project uh, v starter template. I'm just going to call it v starter template. And then you'll ask me what kind of framework do I want to use for this template. So for us, I want to do a React framework. And then select a variant. Uh, I actually don't know what SWC is. If you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, here you can choose a bunch of things uh, to complement this starter kit. So for us, I'm just going to start with TypeScript. And there it is. So it's done. And then it tells you to go here and then run these commands. So all we have to do is copy. So far, I'm very impressed by the speed. It looks like it's already done. And if I scroll down, I should have a folder. Yeah, so it's automatically created all of this for me. You see, you see how fast that was? As soon as, finished, as I finished answering the question, it was created right away, all of these files. So I'm just going to go in there, do the standard npm install. This will install all the dependencies for the framework. Well, not a framework, Vite, like a starter kit. And this will take a few seconds. And done, 180 packages done. And then all I had to do is npm run dev. And that should start the server. So if you play with React, create React app, you should figure out that, you should see that this is actually very, very familiar to you. Uh, you should be very familiar to you. So let's get started and um, go to this URL here. So if you go to the browser and then you go here, you should see this landing page. So, and there's a count button here. So if I click it, it should work. So let's examine this 
starter kit. So if I go here, and then if I go to, uh, let's start with this landing page here. So as you can see in the source code file, we have some main TSX, very, very straightforward. And then inside here, app TSX is where you want to go to see how this page is rendered. And there is the counter, right? So this is setting up React for you. Now you have React already. Everything's like set up nice for you. You can see, you can add logic to it, JSX, all of this is handled and it works. That was quick, very quick, nice and painless. Now, if you look underneath the hood, there are some configuration files here. So this allows you a bit of flexibility in terms of what you want to customize. Like I said, this is very similar to uh, Create React App where it has, so Create, create React App is even further abstracted because you don't see the configuration stuff. So that's the point of it. But I think Vite gives you some level of configuration like the Vite config file where you can configure uh, plugins for their starter kit. And then there's a couple of TypeScript config, which is broken up into app and node. So you can see the different configurations if you need. And there's an ESLint config if you ever want to change like the configuration. I, I can already tell something I want to change, which is there is no comma at the end, which is not needed. So that was probably configured in the ESLint config, which is fine. So you can definitely bring your own configs here to customize this. But as you can see, it's a very, very bare minimum skeleton project. Um, and if you look at the package JSON, you see that there are a couple of scripts over here, like dev, build, lint, and preview. So linter is there, previews, I don't know, actually don't know what preview does, but, uh, and then want to config the dependencies. So one thing I want to test real quick is to run the build command. So npm run build. I want to see what this starter kit is about. So that was really quick, 394 milliseconds to get this done. So all of it is built inside of this dist folder. So if I go to the dist folder, I see three files, right? The vig uh, SVG file that was referenced in the landing page, and then the actual HTML. Now, as you can see, the actual HTML here is very, very bare minimal. It's um, the roots, right? There's only one div in the body. So this means that this is actually a single page app. So by default, this is set up as a single page app. If I go to uh, view source here, oops. Oh, because I server is not started. So if I do npm run dev, start the server. And then if I do page source, you can probably see that, yeah. So it's the same thing, right? There is nothing in the body. So if you want something like an SSR server rendered uh, app for SEO, this is probably not going to work. So what do you do? Well, uh, they have a lot of templates available. So these are like the standard templates, right? You, it's available for all of these languages like Vue, uh, Svelte, Solid, all of them is there. But if you want something more than the, the one that comes with the, by default, you can go to the community maintained template. So what this is does is uh, it bring you to this GitHub repo here, it says awesome Vites. So here you have a bunch of templates created by the community where you can grab to start your application. If you like vanilla JavaScript, we got a bunch over here, like Vue, a lot of them, Vue 2. And then for React, you probably have the most templates over here. Uh, and then you have a bunch of other stuff. So let's uh, take a look at some of these. So I made a mistake of thinking that I can just use this as a parameter when I create the templates. So there's another, right? I used uh, this command, but there's another way to do this is to, whoops. I use a command to start a template, but you can actually pass in the template uh, command line variable to tell it like what kind of template you want to use. I thought I just had to copy the name and then it will just work, but that doesn't work. So based on what I know, the only way to test these starter kits is to actually go to the GitHub and clone the repo. So something um, that's really, really popular right now, right, is this, I'm going to test this out, right? So it's called React.js Vite Tailwind Boilerplate. So you have a uh, React 18, TypeScript, Vtest, Testing Libraries, Tailwind 3, ESLint, and Prettier. That's like as, as as modern as you can get. So let's just grab this and then copy the code. 
One thing I noticed is that a lot of code is kind of old. So they're like two, three, four years old. So you probably need something that's up to date or maintained, but I wouldn't count on these boilerplates to be very up to date. So this is the one, let's just uh, test it out, okay? This is, um, looks like the Tailwind, React, so all of this stuff built in. So I'm just gonna, it's also like all of these are powered by Vite. So I'm just gonna close this and then go back up a directory. So in the directory, I'm gonna git clone this repo and then I'm gonna call it Vite Tailwind Boiler plate, right? Something like that. So this will clone the whole repo locally. And then this that's right here. And then let's go in there. And then let's do npm install. So it's the same thing as if you got the repo from Vite. Unless there's another way to do it via the V command, but I'm just doing it manually, cloning it. And then I go into the directory, installing the dependencies. Now this one might have a bit more dependencies because it's pretty big. And as you can see, the readme is pretty good. It tells you all the commands you need to read. So most of these should be up to date. And I'm actually already done. So if I, my guess is correct, I don't have to do much except for npm run dev, just as I would run the app. So as you can see, it's already there. So if I go to this right now, so as you can see, all of a sudden I have a repo set up with a boilerplate powered by Vite, and all of a sudden I have a Tailwind powered React 18 application with ESLint, Prettier, and Vitesse, right? As you can see the CSS here, this is all Tailwind. So very, very cool. I definitely like this set of community templates because there's one for almost everything you need to do. And you know, if you don't like them, you can definitely modify them to your need. I would figure, I would try to go through all of these and see what which one's like most up to date. Something that I think a lot of people would find useful is, for example, this React Admin dashboard. This one has a only like pretty recent, it's pre pretty recently updated. So we can quickly do the same thing, right? And then check it out. So I do git clone the repo and then Vite React dashboard. So this will clone the thing and then I go to Vite React dashboard here. And then uh, I can do npm install. And there you go. It's installing a dashboard. So if you ever need to build a whole dashboard, admin dashboard, which is pretty common in the dev community. And then and I can do npm run dev. So this just saved me a bunch of time. So if I go to the site right now, it will probably be a dashboard based application. There you go. So everything's all set up for you. I wonder if this is Tailwind, but probably not. Yeah, so it's not Tailwind. So as you can see, you have a lot of varieties and you can, <laughs> a lot of this is made for you. So I would definitely check it out because all of these are powered by Vite. So if you need to like run certain commands, they will all be very, very similar, right? Dev, build, lint, preview. So it's like, a, I think of it like a framework for building starter kits or boilerplates. So I hope you find this video helpful now that you probably can rest easily because you have a new application that's replacing the Create React app. And if you ever need a place to host your application, check out the Digital Ocean coupon code in the description below if you want to sign up with $200 of credits to check it out. So it will also help me out as well. With that said, I hope to see you guys next time. I will begin to upload more videos and uh, I hope you guys subscribe and spread the word. Thanks.